Okay, good morning Southside. It's Miss Debbie here and today I'm going to talk to you about pumpkins and how we as Christians are just like a pumpkin, believe it or not. So to start off with, I wanted to talk to you about a pumpkin. This is called a peduncle. Do you guys all, if anybody in the church has a pumpkin today, you can start carving around the top. We're going to talk about that so then you can get your top started. So we're going to have to clean it out and we're going to carve a face on it. So that's what's going to happen. So how are Christians like a pumpkin, you ask? Well, I'm going to start with this. Dear God, as I carve my pumpkin, help me say this prayer. Open my mind so that I can learn about you. So that's when we're going to cut the top off and we're going to open the top. And we're going to allow ourselves to learn about God today. So God picks us, chooses us. We're in a dirty old pumpkin patch. So if you can see, my pumpkin's pretty dirty right here. So I'm going to take some nice soapy water and I'm going to clean them just like God does. When God chooses us, he cleans us. He takes away all the dirt and makes us nice and clean. So clean your pumpkin. If you have done that step already, that's okay. Make it nice and clean. Now, I wanted to tell you all that I used to run a with a bunch of help, not just me. There was so many people who used to come and help me out. Our old friend, um, Wendy McMillan, she used to be in charge of all of the recycling. We would do a big pumpkin carving night at the church. I'm hoping that we can get back to that maybe next year. Okay, so our pumpkin is carved now. Okay, I'm going to turn it around so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the top off the pumpkin. I have cut the, the top of mine off. Now we have to pull it out. So inside a pumpkin is a bunch of yuckiness. And that's what we have inside of us when God, when God finds us. We're yucky inside. And that's the parts of us that aren't very nice. You know, things maybe when we lie or when we're not nice to other people, when we're not kind, when we're talking people down, putting people down when we are ignoring the poor, things like that. That's our yuckiness. So that's the stuff you want out of your pumpkin. I'm going to take that out. Now you probably have a bunch of this inside your pumpkins. Oh, while we do this, because this is going to take a little bit, I wanted to say that today is Halloween. And being a Christian during Halloween is kind of tricky for some people because... You know, they talk about lots of like witches and zombies and ghosts and things like that. And, and, uh, I don't know, it just has like a kind of the evil spin on it. And we don't like to associate ourselves with evil because that's not what God wants. So having this type of a lesson using a pumpkin helps us to just really bring God into the spirit of things and to, um, you know, let our light shine. And that was the song that uh, Bethany sang before I started talking, This Little Light of Mine. All of the God's children, we might, you might be called little or small, but just because you are doesn't mean that you can't make a big difference, right? You might have a little light, but it can shine really bright. Okay, so I cleaned out the yuckiness inside. This is all the yuckiness. All of our sin, all of our um, difficulties, all those, those uh, you know, bad thoughts, things like that. We've cleaned it all out of the pumpkin. So now, the next step is the pumpkin needs some eyes so that the pumpkin can see God's love. So we need to cut out two eyes. Now, I've pre-cut them, and you can use whatever shape you want. I chose triangles. So I'm going to go around the, the shapes of them, just cut, because they just have to get a little bit of help. Okay, so we got one. I'm going to put it in the yucky bowl. Two. Oh, looks like I didn't do that great of a job cleaning out this pumpkin, but that's okay. We'll, we'll do that a little bit. Cleaning the uh, front of it from the pumpkin patch. Are you feeling like a pumpkin yet? <laughs> um, are you seeing the, the resemblance to Christians and Christians how we are? We, we start off dirty, 
Start off full of yuckiness. I'm gonna get rid of all this dirt. Clean us all up. So I'm gonna, God has chosen us out of the pumpkin patch and he's cleaning us. What do you think of that? So here we go. And you know what another thing too is? If you were to carve a cross on this pumpkin, um, I think maybe you could do it at the sides, carve out a cross. And when you finish the face, you can have crosses at the side. You can, you can carve out the word Jesus. You put that on your porch and you put a bunch of lights in and people are going to know where you stand and how you stand. And they're going to see what you stand for, which is kind of cool in my opinion. Um, now I'm going to cut the nose. There it is. I didn't do such a big humongous nose. And if you're using a sharp knife, please be careful. Don't, don't cut yourselves. So we've got the nose. And then we need a mouth. We can have a nice smile mouth. You can choose whatever kind of mouth you want. In my case, I think I gave him a tooth. I'm trying to remember. I just want to get all the dirt off my pumpkin because I want it to be nice and clean. He's a bit scarred, but that's okay. Because this is the rough, hard outside. And sometimes the outside doesn't show what's inside. Do you find that with some people? You might meet somebody and you think that they're very beautiful on the outside and then... You get to know them and the, their inside is not very nice. So there's his mouth. What do you think of that? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is, we're gonna put the lid back on. We're just gonna have a look at him. So, God has opened our minds, and he's opened our eyes, and he's opened our mouth. And the last thing that we want is for God to help us let our light shine so other people can see it. So over here, I have a pumpkin that my daughter Billy carved and she is gonna lend us her candles. So we're gonna put a couple of candles inside. Hopefully everything works here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna light them, both of them. It makes me think of that soccer camp song that we sang, you know, creep, creep, creep in the dark of night, something like that. And it was, let your light shine. Oh, 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 oh let your light shine. You remember that song? Okay, so here we go. We're going to let our light shine. Turn off the lights. I'm going to turn off my light right here. Do you see the light? Is it shining? Here's Jesus' light. See? And then you can be just like a pumpkin in your own life. You can let Jesus' light shine. How do you let Jesus' light shine? What do you think that you would have to do? Well, I think we have to be kind. We have to tell the truth. We have to be good to people. And we have to let God in. Right? We have to talk to God. We have to let God be part of our lives. We have to um, go to church and, and say our prayers and read our Bible. Um, and then other people will see that in us. And they will, um, they will see our light shining out. And they'll know that we're a Christian. And we'll, they'll know that we love God and that God loves us. And that's it. So that's how you too can be just like a pumpkin. I want to read you one Bible verse that I printed out because I thought it was a good one. And it's from Matthew, which is actually, you know, great. In the same way, you should be a light for other people. Live so that they will see the good things you do. Live so that they will praise your Father in heaven. So that other people can see the good that you do and then they Praise your father. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense to you all. And I want you all to have a very safe and fun Halloween. If you're going out and you're doing trick-or-treating tonight, I want you to be very safe and don't go in people's houses and stay with your parents. And if you're not trick-or-treating and you're staying at home, then I then I, I encourage you to light a pumpkin. Get a pumpkin and think about your eyes, opening your eyes to God and opening your mind to God and hearing the gospel and 
hearing the word. And if you do all that, people will see your light. Thank you for spending this time with me this morning. And God bless all of you. And I hope to see you all soon. Bye.